friends hi this is our fertility master class episode number 2 where we are going to be talking about what is the ideal method for hrt protocol for endometrial preparation when a patient is undergoing embryo transfer so we do understand that hrt is one method natural cycle and modified natural cycles are the other two methods those methods we will be discussing in separate master classes as far as hrt that is hormone based preparation is concerned for preparation of endometrium we follow a very very standard protocol what we use here is estradiol hemihydrate all right and i'll just show you very quickly the dosages we prefer to use a single drug that is estradiol hemihydrate which is available by the brand name estrabet and this is typically given to the patient thrice in a day so that is basically 2 mg thrice in a day so the total dose is 6 mg and it is given for the first 9 days day 1 to day 8 along with that we only give ecosprin that's it we do not give any other medication for hrt now there is a reason for this the reason is we as a unit have endometrial preparation completely as a part of our package we are not into a system where we surcharge the patient for an endometrial preparation as a result of this we will end up using only those drugs which are absolutely necessary for the patient and no add ons by the add ons i would like to tell you that drugs like arginitric sildenafil low molecular weight heparin steroids folic acid vitamin d vitamin e vitamin c these are nine drugs may be prescribed to you if you are a patient and this typically happens when most of the ivf clinics are going to charge you extra for these medications not when somebody is taking it as a part of your package basically you just require these many medications that is two tablets ecosprin i am aware people are going to tell us that you know is the role for ecosprin absolutely defined but in a country like india where so many immunological factors we don't test very often all right we would like to add ecosprin to take care and neutralize majority of those factors so if you see on the ninth day typically the endometrium preparation is going to be something like this it is going to be a triple line we will always add vascularity inside this with this vascularity is going to look at a prf of 0.3 and once that is done we will be looking for the patient's estradiol so if you see the estradiol is 962 that is good it should be more than 300 ideally and we will look at the patient's progesterone prior to starting progesterone so the progesterone is 0.81 the typical value of progesterone which you need to establish is a value less than 1.2 so the cutoff is 1.5 and that cutoff is predominantly for fresh transfers even for frozen transfers if you want to document and be very good about it then you can try to keep it as a value of less than 1.2 estradiol typically the value should be more than 250 when it is an hrt cycle right any value more than 250 is fine but values more than 1500 1300 may indicate hyper estrogenic responses so slightly be careful we do not use any suppression or down regulation with gnrh agonist in any of these cycles this is pure hrt cycles and in this the progesterone support for the patient will be started the luteal phase support for us is only two drugs one is progesterone gel and second is dofastol we'll discuss that in details in our master classes any further questions on this please post in the comments only and we shall be happy to get back to you thank you so much